and as for you like for GAT like the uh, English version now you only have a computerized test based okay for you guys now there is no paper based they may change it later but I mean if you go back like for uh, two years ago there were only a paper based test for GAT now there is only computerized based test okay and it's different than the Arabic version I mean for you there is only you can just take it four times okay it's different than the Arabic version they have like uh, four strikes to do it okay and as I said like um, if you have a question just can just raise hand type something in the chat uh, this is for the Arabic version, okay? If you go to their website, I mean, I'm taking the information from their websites, okay? And what they just say in that for the English version, yeah, they may change it at any times. Yeah, so this is the English. This is what they're saying in their website. They may change it at any times. It said that, the English version, there is only four. You can just take it only four times. Not as the Arabic one, which is five times, okay? And also, you can take a paper based. Uh, yes, you can You can make the uh, fifth one. It's in Arabic, yeah. But as for the English one, you can just take it only four times. So, Abdullah is saying, what if I take four times in English and one time, and the fifth one, it has to be in Arabic. Yeah, you can do that. But as for the English version, you only have four strikes, okay? Hopefully this is clear for all of you. Yes, now there is no paper paste for DAT. I mean, if you go back, uh, Rafa, if you go back uh, two years ago, there is no uh, computerized paste test for GAT. There is only paper paste, but now they change it. And we don't know, like maybe later they change, make both of them or only stuck with the computerized paste test. Okay, shall I go? Continue, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's for both. Yeah, I said that, Am Amara. Yes, it's for both, but if you want to take the English one, you only have four because it's only in computer-based test. Yes. But if you want to take the paper-based test, you have to take it in Arabic. There is no one in English. Okay. Hopefully this is clear. Okay. Thank you. And, you know, as, as always, like a question, I just arrange in the test from easy to hard okay in each section they start with easier question and move for and move to the difficult ones okay and as they just said like the number of items in each section are fixed like okay but um you may have uh, here is one thing like you have to understand um sometimes like in some sections you may have like one or more question more than the other sections, okay? So in each, sometimes like in each test, they have some questions to be tested if they are good or bad, to use them in next exam, okay? So if you run in one section and you see like it has like more questions than the others, you have to know that there is like one or two questions are just like for, for them to review these questions, are not counted toward the scores. These questions, some of them are not counted toward the scores. Hopefully this is clear. So you don't have to worry. You just have, you have just to do all the problems in a test. Even if you have like one section that has more problems than the other, just do all the problems, okay? They won't tell you which one are not counted toward score, okay? And let's just talk about some tips like we have um we want to prepare for the test 
So well, the best way to prepare is to review previous tests, problems. Okay? And how to do that? You have to look for what they call in tajmi'at uh, in Arabic. And if you can't read in Arabic, we're going to talk about some uh, resources in English. Okay? So this is the best way to review questions, types, and math concepts. Second, I'm not saying like memorize all. This is, you have to memorize all formulas you need to know. And how, who can tell you that? If you can review the problems from the previous tests, you can know what formulas you need to know, okay? So when we said like you have to memorize it, it would be easier for you if you memorize something, it would be just handy in a test, okay? Um, keep this in mind, this is too important, okay? I'm going to talk really about resources, just wait a bit. Uh, no problem requires lengthy computation. This test is not a math test. When we talk about the quantitative, this is not a mathematic test. This is a, a, they call it like aptitude test, okay? So it's like some of problems, if you can just do them fast and easy. If you know how to do it, you'll do it. If you don't know how to do it, sometimes you can't do it, okay? So just keep in mind, any problems you're facing when you're like preparing for the test, think of a short way to do it, okay? And here is some tip with just telling the student about it. Like if you know the answer, just do it, okay? I mean, if you know the answer, you see a problem, it's easy, you know the answer, you don't have to waste time doing the steps like in your scratch paper. No one cares about your steps. They all care like if you choose A or B or C or D, okay? And it's also important, you have to keep a track of time, okay? You have to keep a track of time. So when you're preparing for the test, you have to time yourself, okay? Like if you're taking like 25 problems, you time yourself like 26 or 30 minutes, just do it, okay? You have to, um, make sure that you know how to manage time without looking at, the, at at your watch, okay? And also you have to learn how to eliminate one or two choices from each problems, if possible, okay? Um, as we just said, like, it's, it's all multiple choice questions and there is no penalty for choosing a wrong one. So don't leave any question on answer. Guess and mark. If you, if you don't know how to do it, just guess and mark, okay? Make a better guess. Eliminate problems. Uh, I mean, some choices, okay? But don't leave any problems.